And we're not done yet. Advancing features across design, camera, performance, and more. The next generation Pro pushes each of these further in ways only Apple can. iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, they use new tech. Uh, that Apple has never used before on any other iPhone. And in this video, I will explain to you those things and why Apple made those choices and how they actually work. Tetra Prism. Apple version of the Periscope that has been rumored for a Pro Max model for a while, the way that Apple is getting there is very different than to all other Android manufacturers. The typical Periscope lens is you have a lens array that is positioned in a different plane field as all other sensors, and the light actually hits this tiny little sensor, then creates this effect of the zoom because you need a physical distance between the actual sensor and the front element. In Android phones, the light is reflected only once. What Apple is doing, they're actually using a different technology called Tetra Prism, and the light is reflected four times uh, from the moment it hits the lens until it gets to the sensor. And the sensor is actually positioned in the same plane field as all other sensors. And what it really means is Apple is able to use a larger sensor with bigger, brighter aperture, which means better low light quality pictures, but also, and this is super important, that they have more space to create a stabilization around that sensor, uh, which would mean that when you're shooting handheld and you're zooming in, there's a lot of shake going on. Apple is using their 3D technology that we will almost certainly find to be incredibly effective and far better than any other Android manufacturer. They are also using low pressure injection molding technology for the new iPhone display. Now, this has been rumored by Mark Gurman for a long time. They first use a low pressure injection molding with Apple Series 7 watch when they actually were able to shrunk the borders significantly. With the new iPhones, Apple shrunk the bezels to the very tiny ones and the way that they are able to create those and not damage the actual uh, display, which is very sensitive OLED panel, is they are using this new different technology. Now, you have the industrial machine that injects plastic uh, at a certain temperature into the actual mold, whether this is a display or this is a, a cable part, and then the top part of the machine injects pressure to make sure those those plastic parts stick together. Now, when you actually were doing it with a high pressure, this is what Apple has been doing before, the actual pressure from the machine was up to 25,000 PSI, and the plastic temperature, when that plastic gets injected, uh, it, it goes up to 300 degrees Celsius. So that is quite high. With low pressure molding, what that means is basically the pressure um, of the machine doesn't exceed 100 PSI. So that is 25 times less. And the actual temperature of liquid plastic, it doesn't go over 220 degrees. And the actual plastic is a type of resin. It looks almost like a syrup-like. It's a different uh, viscosity than uh, what Apple has been using before. What does it really mean? Low pressure molding, takes more time. Uh, it is much better for very small, delicate components like OLED panels uh, and is more expensive. So Apple is spending more money to create display that aesthetically is far better for all of us. Spatial video. New iPhones record spatial video with two cameras, one ultra wide and one normal, and then the video gets combined so you can have a 3D effect when you view it uh, in the new Apple Vision Pro when that comes out. Now, with all the demos of people who were able to see the Vision Pro, one of the biggest things by far that we are mostly impressed by was this new video format, this 3D video format where uh, Apple had like an, an NBA game uh, and they had a few other uh, sports related events where people who saw the recording, they thought this is crazy. This is exactly how you feel in the arena um, and you get the similar feelings. This is likely to be, in my opinion, the future of the video format. And the reason why Apple is developing the A17 Pro chip with graphics is not only for the games, but also specifically to record those spatial photos and videos. And then when people have more Vision Pro devices, the price comes down. There's a third, fourth generation of the handset. We all could enjoy videos and content in this new immersive format. But at the moment, with this new phone, it's uh, just a feature you can use, but you won't be able to play it back for probably a while. And lastly, titanium. Apple is screaming about it like everybody else who uh, have seen the new phone. And it is a big deal because Apple is using great fight titanium. It's stronger, it's lighter, it's much more expensive for Apple to manufacture. Why bother, right? Uh, but it's cool. 
It looks cool. Uh, it's, uh, it will have less scratches, certainly, than what we had before with the brushed uh, stainless steel. Um, it is lighter. It has a far more structural rigidity, uh, but we will also likely see more dents when the phone is uh, uh, fallen and hits uh, hard things. And at the end of the day, everybody will put the case on the phone most of the time, so it won't really matter as much. But as an improvement, this is a pretty big deal. This is pretty cool. And overall, this is one of the best incremental updates Apple has done to their flagship phone in years. Now, it's still very tiny, but again, we're talking about the phone that is so already good that there are not that as many things um, that can be improved. Now, of course, Apple could have given us Thunderbolt 4 speeds, which they didn't because uh, they just reserved it for the 16 Pro or, or for 17 Pro, because again, we're, we're maxing out uh, at the peak of performance and the peak of improvement. Uh, everybody talks about action button. Is it really a big deal? Absolutely not. Who cares? It's just the one button. You have uh, all, <laughs> all sorts of ways to interact with your phone, in my opinion. Uh, it, it absolutely doesn't deserve as much attention as it did. The phone is very much the same as 14 Pro. The port, this is pretty cool. I have a feeling that Lightning is actually better from uh, in terms of uh, durability, and Apple talked about it before, but we got what we got. I think it's downright criminal that Apple didn't upgrade the iPhone 15s, the regular ones, to 120 hertz. They left this beautiful, incredible hardware running on this 60 frames a second. Um, that is... Uh, just uh, one of those weird things that Apple has done. But again, you got to do whatever you got to do to push people to buy the Pro. This is it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, hit a like, subscribe, comment, all of those good things. And I'll see you as always in the next video. Peace.